Now, tonight's top stories and tomorrow morning's forecast in the first five minutes. Well, if you watch television, and we know you do, you may have seen commercials for SafeLink Wireless. They offer free services to people receiving food stamps on Medicaid or people living in Section 8 housing. Not a bad deal. But who's really paying for it? That's the tough question consumer investigator Adam Murphy is asking SafeLink Wireless. Presenting SafeLink, a free government-supported cell phone with free monthly minutes and a free voicemail account. This commercial promises some of you a free cell phone with free minutes. You are likely eligible if you receive food stamps or Medicaid. It sounds like a good deal, but is it too good to be true? I saw the ad on TV and I thought that was a good idea, especially for the older people stay by themselves. SafeLink Wireless provides eligible low-income households one free phone and 68 free minutes a month for one year. The deal is offered by a company called TrackPhone. They're a prepaid cell phone provider based in Miami. Who's paying for it? Um, it's a mix. You have companies and you have, um, in other cases, carriers that pass off the, the fee to the consumers. So it's a mix. Here's how it works. Each month, you pay a universal fee on your cell phone bill. That money goes to the federal government. And then providers like TrackPhone are able to access some of that money for programs like SafeLink. What's the catch? There is no catch. It is actually one of the few things in, the, in, in that we can honestly say free does mean free. The phone is yours for free. The minutes are yours to, to, to keep. You can choose... To, to purchase phone uh, additional minutes if you want to. TrackPhone may give you a free phone, but there's an incentive. They want you to buy additional minutes, which is money in their pocket. Having said that, most cell phone customers like the concept. I think it's good, especially to uh, senior citizens and people with disabilities. And most of the time, people that are getting food stamps can't afford other things. SafeLink Wireless told me you should check with them to see if you qualify for the program. You might be surprised. Also keep in mind, after the first year of free service, they will reevaluate you to see if you're still eligible. Reporting in the studio, Adam Murphy, CBS Atlanta News. All right, we learned about this story from a viewer just like you. So if you have a story idea, let us know. Email us at news at cbsatlanta.com.